Hey everyone, how's it going? Thanks so much for tuning in. For today's video, we're going to be taking an in-depth look at the 2018 Mercedes-AMG C43 Cabriolet. In this review, I'm going to start it up, show the engine, get an exhaust clip, and go over the performance data. I'll also take it for a thorough drive and show you many of the unique aspects throughout the interior as well as exterior. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start her up and let her run. Also, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up below. This example also features the optional AMG Performance Exhaust System, which I'll talk about more later in the video. But for now, you can actually start it up two different ways. It's a keyless ignition system, so all you have to do is make sure you have the key fob in your pocket, put your foot on the brake, and hit the dash matter button to go. Now, if you just go ahead and start it up, it starts up in the default comfort setting with the exhaust valves closed. But if you turn on the accessory power and put the car into either a Sport Plus or just open the exhaust manually by the button in the center console, you can actually start it up a little bit louder. So let's go ahead and compare the two before I jump into the review. We'll start off with the exhaust valves closed. And now with the exhaust valves open. This is a car I was pretty excited to get behind the wheel of because last year Mercedes-AMG launched the all-new 43 series, which can be had in five different models, including the SLC Roadster, but I hope to cover all those in future reviews. In the C-Class's case, you can think of it as kind of a stepping stone between the standard Turbo 4 C300 and the range-topping twin-turbo V8 C63. The C43 is packing a powerful twin turbocharged V6, a new 9-speed automatic and standard all-wheel drive. Plus, a lot of the stuff that you would expect from an AMG is present and accounted for, all at a price point that's a bit easier to swallow. From the outside, the C43 sets itself apart from a regular C-Class with more aggressive front and rear fascias, or pronounced side skirts and unique badging. Mercedes touts the C-Class Cabriolet as a car that you can enjoy all year round, even with the top down and colder weather. There's a lot of really cool tech packed into this car to make all of that possible. For one, you have the standard air scarf system. We've seen this in other Mercedes products over the years, but there's basically two fan systems built into the front headrest that gently blow warm air onto the back of your neck. It's blissful. The other really cool thing is the optional air cap system. It combines an electrically operated wind blocker that extends from behind the rear seat with a panel that rises up from the top of the windshield header. Together, they help reduce interior wind buffeting. The multi-layer acoustic soft top is constructed in a similar fashion as the top used on the S-Class Cabriolet. It can open and close in 20 seconds at speeds of up to 31 miles per hour. On top of that, while the top does come standard in black, you can also opt for either dark brown, dark blue, or dark red for extra contrast. A lot of the differences in construction between the C-Class Coupe and Sedan translates over to the Cabriolet as well. This becomes more apparent when you put the top up, as the two silhouettes are pretty much identical. The only real difference between the two is height. The Cabriolet is taller by two tenths of an inch. I was really surprised by the interior noise levels. They weren't near as high as what I was expecting. It's honestly pretty comparable to the coupe. It's a little bit louder, but not that much. Starting price for the 2018 C43 Cabriolet is $61,795, including destination. In comparison, that's $12,700 less than a base C63 Cabriolet. This particular example is loaded with optional features. The total MSRP for what you see here is around $77,600. All C-Class Cabriolets come with some form of staggered wheel and tire package. The C43 setup is unique. It comes with 18-inch wheels, but 19s are also available in several different styles, including these matte black 14-spoke wheels that have a polished outer lip. 
the wrapped in high performance Pirelli P0 tires, two 2540 40s in front and two 55 35s in the rear. The staggered setup gives you a bit more traction out back and with the 19 inch wheels you also get 10mm wider rear tires. There's good steering response and in the corners the Pirellis offer a lot of grip. Of course, the C43 also receives upgraded brakes to not only increase stopping power, but to increase the car's capabilities in the event it's ever taken to a track. The front discs span 14.2 inches and are clamped down by gray painted four piston calipers. They're internally ventilated and perforated, but instead of conventional cross drilling, the discs are actually cast with the holes in place. This makes them stronger and more resistant to the stresses of high heat. At 12.6 inches, the rear discs are pretty good size too. They're clamped down by large single piston calipers. The C43's rack and pinion steering is speed sensitive. In other words, the ratio actually varies based on your speed of travel. The whole point is to increase precision and response, especially for what this car is made for and good spirited driving, some light track duty. It's a good fit. There's a lot of feedback from the front end and it all feels pretty natural. You can also adjust the level of assistance through the drive mode, so if you want it a little bit looser in comfort or stiffer in sport mode, it's easily done at the touch of a button. Underneath is an independent aluminum intensive four wheel multi link suspension. Four link in front, five link in the rear, and there's three mode adaptive dampers, so you can soften or stiffen them at your discretion. Like the C63 being that this is an AMG product, the C43 has a unique front suspension design. Their stiffer steering knuckles, improved elastokinematics, increased negative camber, newly developed wishbone guide bearings, and more. The end results are a car that feels sharper, more agile, and one that delivers greater suspension feedback so you feel a little bit more connected with what you're doing. Despite being firmer than a standard C-Class, it's by no means uncomfortable, it's still pretty well mannered for a daily driver. Despite not having the snarling, twin-turbocharged 4.0-liter V8 found in the C63 and C63S, the C43 is still every bit of an AMG, thanks to a unique 3.0-liter twin-turbocharged V6. It produces 362 horsepower between 5,500 and 6,000 RPM, and 384 pound-feet of torque between 2,000 and 4,200 RPM. With permanent 4MATIC all-wheel drive, it can accelerate to 60 miles an hour in just 4.7 seconds, up to a limited top speed of 130 miles per hour. From an aesthetic point of view, the engine looks awesome. The red insert on the cover is specific to this series of engine, and across the front you have three big intakes that provide almost like a ram air effect. The outer ones feed the intercoolers, while the middle one just channels air directly onto the engine. Inside, just like the V8, there's a lot of advanced stuff, such as nano slide cylinder wall technology and forged pistons. Harnessing all of that power is a new 9-speed automatic transmission with AMG-specific software. Like I said, 4MATIC all-wheel drive is standard, but in this case, the default torque split is set at 31% in front and 69% in the rear, so for the most part it does give off rear-wheel drive characteristics. A brake-based torque vectoring system provides a little bit of extra control, but things like a limited slip differential and even launch control for that matter are reserved for the C63. The transmission's pretty sweet. Like a lot of cars nowadays, you can adapt its behavior to different drive modes to either prioritize fuel economy or performance. You can also put it in manual mode and control it via paddle shifters in the back of the steering wheel. The cool thing about that is that it will not automatically shift at redline, so you have full control over it. The transmission is so smooth and refined that in eco and comfort you barely even notice the gear changes. However, in Sport Plus, it becomes more authoritative. Upshifts sound off like the crack of a whip, there's rev matching downshifts, it becomes so responsive, almost dual clutch like, but again, very very smooth. There's five drive modes to choose from, including eco, comfort, sport, sport plus, and individual. The latter allows more personalized settings, but the system as a whole alters the response of the engine, transmission, suspension, steering, and more. One thing that's pretty much synonymous with AMGs is an epic sounding exhaust. Now the standard sport exhaust is pretty good, but it's not that aggressive. You're going to want to spring for the performance exhaust for $1,250. Like I touched on at the beginning of the video, there's electronically controlled flaps that alter the level of sound based on driving style and drive mode. 
When the valves are open, it sounds like a proper AMG. It pops on upshifts, crackles on downshifts, and just sounds incredible. Listen to it idle as I switch the valves from closed to open. Thanks in part to the transmission, auto start stop system, and coasting function that activates automatically in eco mode, the C43 gets pretty decent fuel economy for what it is. Ranging between 19 miles per gallon in the city and 26 miles per gallon on the highway. Expect an average of 22 miles per gallon. Premium unleaded is required and there's a 17.4 gallon tank. The interiors of these cars are simply stunning with class-leading craftsmanship and attention to detail. I mean, just like how beautiful the metal speaker grills are. An abundance of high-quality materials and a variety of premium trim options encompass you within a level of luxury that's hard to match in this segment. As in typical AMG fashion, the interior is dressed up to complement the sporty exterior. There's a flat-bottom bolstered steering wheel, lots of red accent stitching, and unique deep-contoured 14-way power front seats with lumbar, thigh extenders, adjustable side bolsters, and three-person memory. The headrest and steering wheel are also fully adjustable. The seats offer greater support and long-term comfort than a standard C-Class. Heated seats are standard, cooled seats are optional. For that race-inspired feel, you can even opt for the AMG Performance seats. I've talked about them in prior reviews, however, as awesome as they are, in this case, it would mean losing the air scarf feature. The interior of the Cabriolet mirrors that of the coupe, right down to the electric seatbelt extenders. When you close the door, they automatically extend to bring the seatbelt towards you, making it easier to grab. In the center of the dash is a freestanding LCD display that integrates the Mercedes Command infotainment system. A 7-inch screen comes standard, while this 8.4-inch screen is part of the optional multimedia package, which includes a hard drive navigation system, voice control, and more. In addition to satellite radio and HD radio, there's Bluetooth streaming, USB, iPod, auxiliary, and SD card integration. The entire system is routed through the rotary dial and available touchpad controller in the center console. The touchpad mirrors the function of the rotary dial and works very much like the screen of a smartphone. In other words, you can swipe, pinch, and even write things. As far as storage, there's pockets across the doors, a center console, and a lockable glove box. Along with an array of 10 airbags throughout the interior, the C43 carries a number of electronic safety features, including blind spot monitoring, automatic seatbelt tensioning, and the pre-safe collision preparation system. Some of the optional features include adaptive cruise with lane keeping assist, active park assist, automatic emergency braking with pedestrian detection, a surround view camera system, and more. Like the exterior, interior dimensions for the Cabriolet are also very similar to the coupe. Climbing into the back seat is not all that hard. Once you pull the backrest up, the seat slides forward automatically, which is really nice. The back seat's going to be a cozy environment for taller folks. I'm 5'10", and the only real issue that I had was leg space, but a lot of that depends on how tall the people in front are. From what it is, the back seat environment is really nice. The seats are decently comfortable. There's a lot of padded material. There's two cup holders in the middle, child seat anchors, and big headrests. You also have adjustable air vents. Now let's go ahead and see if she sounds, and of course, with the exhaust valves open.
right, next, we'll go ahead and shut her down. Now let's head towards the rear and check out trunk space. Out back, it's worth noting how easy it is to open up the trunk. It's not powered, but when you hit the button, it's counterbalanced perfectly to just swing up all by itself. Inside, you have about 8.8 .8 cubic feet worth of storage space as long as the top partition isn't pulled down. That's just a little bit less than the coupe, but you also can fold down the rear seat and expand the cargo space all the way to the front if needed. Underneath the trunk floor, you have a foldable cargo organizer and there's plenty of illumination. Well everyone, I hope you enjoyed the in-depth look at the Mercedes AMG C43 Cabriolet. Be sure to stay tuned next time. Leave a like and subscribe today. There's always a lot more where that came from. Take care, everyone.